Hello, Rob Big46 here. Welcome yourselves to round four of Robbo's Racing League on MotoGP 17 on the Xbox One. Now, today we are racing at Jerez, but this time we're going to be racing in the rain, so it's going to be a fully wet race. And uh, in the last race, we did have a bit of an incident with Bird is to Word. He has been awarded one penalty point for that incident in the last race. So that is that. Let's have a look at qualifying. And of course, it is Jack on pole position, followed by myself in second, F1 fan in third, Lone Wolf fourth, Chutney BMX fifth, Stealing Set sixth, Morgan in seventh. And unfortunately, Dr. Monty, Typical Mikey and Jamie all disconnected during qualifying. But Dr. Monty did put in a qualifying time. Also, AMS Blaze uh, did say half hour before the race that he was going to be racing. However, he did not turn up, so he has, in fact, lost his ride for the rest of the season. That will be going to Jamie, who is meant to be standing in for Gidzy this week. Um, but unfortunately, he had uh, connection issues and didn't actually get to race, unfortunately. Also, Bud is the word. He wasn't feeling very well, so he didn't race either. Right, let's have a look at Jack's qualifying lap. So here we go on the KTM around a very wet Jerez, going into the first corner, keeping it nice and smooth. And we'll see how we've done his pole position lap. A crash for F1 fan. So still got about a minute and a half left of this session as Jamie just disconnected in. He he kept trying to rejoin, but the game kept kicking him out for some reason. So we did have a few issues with connections uh, on this night. But um, yeah, like I said, unfortunately, Jamie not being able to race. But he will be back and he will be a full-time rider now on the Suzuki. Crash for Morgan in seventh. So next week, uh, Bird is the word, will be back, as will Gidzy as well. So we should be back up to a full lobby next week. We should have only been missing one this week, but uh, like I said, AMS Blaze, despite saying half hour before the race that he w would race, he didn't turn up, didn't respond to any messages or any invites, and uh, yeah, because of that, it's not the first time it's happened, so uh, unfortunately for him, he's lost his ride for the rest of the season. So Jack just under his best lap at the moment as he goes off track. Through the first quick right-hander. And then the second one, and then the run up to Lorenzo Corner. And out of Lorenzo Corner, try not to spin up on the way out, and just run to the line. And done. Right, race, you got me top left, Jack top right, typical Mikey bottom left, and stealing set bottom right. So here we go. No super special starts this time, because otherwise your rear just spins up all the way. A few people trying to get ahead of Jack. I try going up the inside of him. But Jack just gets a slight better drive at the corner. So I stay in second place. Jack stays in the lead. We've got Steel and Set dropping back slightly as is typical Mikey. He had four abreast there through the second corner. Typical Mikey down a little bit. Almost right at the back. As he try and fight with Steel and Set. I try and hang on to the back of Jack. Typical Mikey trying to get up the inside of F1 fan. Stealing set just a little bit further behind. Now, typical Mikey got Lone Wolf just ahead of him. Dr. Monty going very wide there on the other KTM. Getting back ahead of typical Mikey. Meanwhile, Jack slowly just edging away from me. Stealing set just behind this group. F1 fan coming up the inside of typical Mikey. So a lot of shenanigans going on. A bit further down the order. F1 fan again. Just trying to get the inside of typical Mikey. You had Stealing Set's teammate Chutney BMX trying to get past Stealing Set, but went a bit wide. F1 fan up the inside. So F1 fan and typical Mikey really fighting on the opening lap. Go into Lorenzo corner for the first time. Typical Mikey almost went it into the back of Dr. Monty. And that's first lap down. Second lap we will go with Typical Mikey. We've got Stealing Set in the bottom left hand corner. Typical Mikey tries to get up the inside of F1 fan. Dr. Monty went wide. He gets F1 fan, so he's up to fifth place. And it looked like Stealing Set comes through as well. So Stealing Set up to sixth place. Typical Mikey now got to try and get past Dr. Monty. And of 
course, stealing set, trying to catch up to typical Mikey as he goes a bit wide. And into the right-hander. Dr. Monty went very wide on the brakes, lost the front, so he loses a few positions. Typical Mikey up to fourth, stealing set up to fifth because of that crash. So, typical Mikey on the factory Yamaha. No teammate, unfortunately. Like I said, uh, Jamie was meant to be standing in for Gidzi on the factory Yamaha, but unfortunately, connection issues, he wasn't able to race. He did turn up, but he just kept getting kicked out of the, uh, the lobby due to connection errors, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, the lone factory Yamaha in this race, as there's only one factory Ducati as well. Lone Wolf, which is just up ahead of typical Mikey. And only one Suzuki as well. So, this is coming up to the end of the second lap. It's looking like typical Mikey is just on an edge away from Stealing Set. Stealing Set obviously trying to go with him. On to lap number three with me. Yeah, as you can see, Jack has pulled away by 2.2 seconds at the moment. I've still got Lone Wolf just behind me, keeping me honest at the moment. So I've got to just keep pushing and seeing if I can edge away from Lone Wolf. Obviously, Jack's just going to continue pulling away. But any mistake from me now, or any big mistake, and Lone Wolf will be all over the back of me. He's less than a second behind. So the lone Ducati rider is right behind. Obviously we had a battle with Lone Wolf in the last round at Circuit America. He came out on top and took second place. We got knocked down to third. Tried getting him on the last lap but unfortunately couldn't quite manage it. So definitely need to beat him this time just for points. Obviously, with Bird is the word not racing as well due to illness. Um, he won't be getting any points, so that's going to allow me to pull away from him. Jamie will get some points for this race because he did try and race. It was just unfortunate due to uh, connection issues. So he did try and race, so he will still gain points. So we're just starting to edge away from Lone Wolf a little bit. Lorenzo corner on lap number three. And now we can run to the line, but yet we are pulling away from Lone Wolf at the moment. Jack has put the fastest lap in, but we're stealing set now on lap number four. He's just behind typical Mikey. In fact, he's caught typical Mikey back up. You did see in lap number two that typical Mikey was pulling away, but stealing set right on his rear now and looking for a way past. Stealing set on the Repsol Honda. The Honda versus Yamaha. Typical Mikey just trying to stay ahead, but Stealing Set looking for any way through he can. Typical Mikey went a little bit wide. Stealing Set trying to get up the inside, but not quite happening. Now, can he out drag him to this hairpin coming up and out break him? He's going for it up the inside, but he's not close enough. Typical Mikey's going to go wide. He's gone very wide. Stealing Set is going to try and cut underneath, doesn't quite manage it, typical Mikey just stays ahead, but Stealing Set is right there and he's ready to pounce at any moment, so where was he going to attack, is he going to shove up the inside here, not quite typical Mikey going a bit wide again, Stealing Set keeping a very tight line, Typical Mikey on the curb there, spinning that rear, and that allows Stealing Set to try and get underneath, just levers him aside. And up to fourth place, Typical Mikey trying to go around the outside. Just going to put him up the inside for Lorenzo Corner. Is he going to run wide? Not quite. Can Stealing Set get a better exit? It's looking like he's going to. So back up to fourth for Stealing Set as he tries to pull away. But F1 fan has joined the race as well. And a bit of lag there for Typical Mikey. His F1 fan came in front of him, but because of lag, they ended up having a little bit of a collision at the first corner. That's just unfortunately a racing incident due to the horrendous amounts of lag there. You saw from Stealing Set's uh, view that 
Typical Mikey was quite far back, but on Typical Mikey's point of view, uh, he was ahead of Steel and Set, and then Steel and Set kind of shot into the distance, and F1 fan came past as well. So quite a bit of lag there, but Steel and Set in fourth place, Typical Mikey still in fifth, and F1 fan in sixth place. A crash for Morgan a bit further back. So can Steel and Set stay ahead of Typical Mikey now? Can he get away? He's obviously going to try fourth place. Would be a very good result. But of course, he's got to try and get away from Typical Mikey and make sure that Typical Mikey does not put up another attack. So 3.7 seconds up to Lone Wolf, just over a second back to Typical Mikey. So he is pulling away. F1 fan a little bit further behind Typical Mikey now. So Lone Wolf, he was still quite close to me, but I was still just edging out lap by lap. Jack just put another fastest lap in. Now, we did have a little bit of a uh, strange incident on lap number five as well. F1 fan going into this left-hander. He had a crash. And then, unfortunately, Morgan, nowhere to go, went straight into his crash bike and ended up crashing as well. Of course, that is just a racing incident because F1 fan was already on the floor. But with Jack now in the lead on lap number seven. So we've skipped forward a lap from five to seven. Jack just out front by himself. Obviously, on the KTM. Obviously, couldn't choose your tyres for this race because it is raining. You can only have wets. You don't get to choose what compound of wet you use, whether it's hard, soft or medium. It's just a wet tyre, front and back. And they do, luckily, last the whole race distance as well. Obviously, we know that softs last the complete race distance by quite a margin in the dry at the end of the last race, mine were only like a quarter used front and rear soft. So, wet tyres, they last the whole race distance as well. They don't really degrade by much either. So, Jack just out front doing his thing. I was obviously a bit further behind. Let's see what his lead is. It just come on the screen there. Is he going to tell us? No, just missed out on telling us what the split was. Almost over the edge of the kerb there. Down to Lorenzo corner again. And then we've only got a few laps left to go. So that's the end of lap number seven. We're going to switch forward to lap number nine with me. Because lap number nine was, strangely enough, my fastest lap of the race. Set my best time on lap number nine. And it was a lot quicker than what I'd done in qualifying, which was quite strange, about 0.4 quicker than what I was doing in qualifying. So as you can see from the map, I have really pulled away from Lone Wolf now. So I was very comfortable in second place. And yeah, so this is my fastest lap of the race. In fact, my fastest lap of this round altogether, including qualifying. Yeah, second place. See, so we're not going to catch Jack unless he has some kind of catastrophic incident or something goes horrendously wrong. But that's not very likely to happen. See what the split is when we go over it. So Jack at an 8.3 second lead at the moment. One more lap to go. We had a three and a half second lead over Lone Wolf in third place. So we, we were sitting pretty in second place. It was a very lonely race. A very lonely race for Jack as well. But like I said, a very lonely race for myself. A pretty lonely race for Lone Wolf in third as well. And you've still got typical Mikey and Steel and Set close together. We'll start the last lap. Like I said, that was my fastest lap of the whole race. Okay, so 
Typical Mikey has caught back up to stealing set. It's stealing set. Obviously he's still in fourth. Typical Mikey looking for a way past him. Stealing set went very wide there. Typical Mikey trying to get underneath him. Doesn't quite work. Stealing set closed the door on him. Typical Mikey going a long way around. That's not quite going to work around the left hander. Trying to get a slight better exit on the curb. Into the long right. Stealing set going wide. Typical Mikey didn't need a second invitation. Side by side. Typical Mikey on the curb. Span up a little bit. So Stealing set got a slightly better exit. Into the hairpin. Typical Mikey looking up the inside. He's going for it. And he manages to lever his way through. Can Stealing Set get back past him? Of course, this is the final lap as well. So Stealing Set needs to get back past him and pretty quick if he wants to take that fourth position off him. He gets real close there. Looking around the outside to try and put him up the inside for the double right-hander. Into the double right-hander. Stealing Set goes for the inside but goes a bit wide. Typical Mikey back up underneath. Back up the fourth. Stealing Set right back on him. And then typical Mikey got a better X out of the second right hand and just edged out a little bit over stealing set. Jack's already finished. Myself and Lone Wolf going around to finish as well. Typical Mikey. He's going to take fourth place because stealing set unfortunately couldn't get back past him. So fourth place for the factory Yamaha man. So that was the end of the race. Like I said, not a lot happened with Jack, myself or Lone Wolf. But Jack did take the win. Followed by myself in second place, Lone Wolf in third, Typical Mikey fourth, Stealing Set in fifth, Chutney BMX sixth, F1 Fan in seventh, Morgan in eighth, and then in ninth place was Dr. Monty. But uh, like I said, Jamie will still get some points because he did try to race, but connection issues unfortunately. So that is the end of that race. The first wet race of the season. Let's check out to see what that's done to the championship. Well, with that surprise victory from Jack, he is uh, still 100% win tally with 100 points. I am in second place with 67 points. Lone Wolf moves up to third on the Ducati with 56 points. Typical Mikey is in fourth with 53 points. But his word, like I said, unfortunately not well this week. So, not racing. So, he moves down to 5th now with 44 points. Chetney BMX is in 6th with 36 points. And he got Steeland set in 7th with 34 points. F1 Fan in 8th with 33 points. Dr. Monty in 9th with 26 points. Morgan in 10th with 25 points. Jamie in 11th with 21 points. Ahead of Gidzy, who didn't race this week because he's on holiday. With uh, 20 points in 12th. And then AMS Blaze who's no longer racing in 13th with 6 points. As you can see I have added that penalty point onto Bird is to Word. Team Championship now. Red Bull KTM still at the top with 126 points. The Ducati team is in 2nd with 104 points. But closed right in now by to just 1 point is the Tech 3 Yamaha team in 3rd with 103 points. And then in fourth, you've got the Movie Star Yamaha team with 77. Seven points ahead of the Repsol Honda team in fifth with 70 points. And Suzuki in sixth with 53 points. So like I said, F1 fan will have his new teammate for the next round. Jamie, who will be a permanent rider. But yeah, that is the end of round number four for Robbo's Racing League on MotoGP 17 on the Xbox One, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, it is our first wet race of the season. There will be others throughout the season. But the next race will be at Le Mans. And that will be Monday the 21st of August. But what's left to say guys is thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.